God is in his holy place, God who unites those who dwell in his house. He himself gives might and strength to his people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. Seeking the abundance of the presence of God, the light of the world. Let us in a humble and contrite heart examine ourselves. For at times we may have failed to place ourselves in the presence of God and into the will of the Father. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The word that was addressed to Jeremiah by the Lord. Get up and make your way down to the porter's house. There I shall let you hear what I have to say. So he went down to the porter's house. And there he was working at the wheel. And whenever the vessel he was making came out wrong, as happens with the clay handled by potters, he would start afresh and work it into another vessel as potters do. Then this, the word of the Lord, was addressed to me. House of Israel, cannot I do to you what this potter does? It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so you are in mine, house of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. My soul give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. He He is is happy who is is helped helped by Jacob's God. God. Put not trust in prince, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that they came to nothing. He He is is happy happy who is is helped helped by by Jacob's God. God. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. 
whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God. Alleluia. 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 I call you friends, says the Lord, because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my Father. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, you o Lord. Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet cast into the sea that brings in a haul of all kinds. When it is full, the fishermen haul it ashore, and sitting down, they collect the good ones in a basket and throw away those that are of no use. This is how it will be at the end of time. The angels will appear and separate the wicked from the just to throw them into the blazing furnace where there'll be weeping and grinding of teeth. Have you understood all this? They said, yes. And he said to them, well then, every scribe who becomes a disciple of the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out from his storeroom things both new and old. When Jesus had finished these parables, he left the district. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. We are back. We are back with Jeremiah today. The past days we've been looking at the story of Jeremiah and the confessions of so called Jeremiah. How much he has been disillusioned, how much he's struggling, how much he's in this bitterness and pain in this anguish of life, this rejection that he's facing, and everything that he's going through in this turmoil, he's addressing it to God in his own words. And that's prayer. That's how we address this relationship with God in this prayer. And today it's, it's interesting because God speaks to Jeremiah in this moment of his anguish, in this turmoil. And he uses a, a metaphor of a potter and a clay. And it's a very beautiful metaphor that you can find this biblical metaphor in this image of God that we have. Because prayer is very much condensed or shaped and colored by our image of God and how we look at God. And so this metaphor, this potter at work on the will with the clay, it's about two things, just two simple words, how he shapes and reshapes, how he designs and redesigns the mold of that clay. And God tells Jeremiah in his word, that's how I'm working in your life. Sometimes it's hard to see things unfolding, but I'm at work. If only you could just let it be the will of God, because I am at work in your life. I mold it, I shape it, I design it, and if I'm not happy, I will change the design. I will remold it. I will reshape it. I will redesign it. Until it reaches the perfection that's in the mind of God. How God designs it. And sometimes you and I cannot. We cannot see it. We cannot capture it. We cannot assimilate it in our lives. It's so difficult. But the response is, I'm blessed are the ones who put their help in God. Blessed are the one who placed their trust in God 
And that's how he says. Jesus takes this one step further. And he speaks about this fisherman who throws in the dragnet and it hauls in a whole number of fish. And there's good, not so good. Big, small. Different types, different shapes. But God says there will be a moment God will separate it. That's all. What is right and what is wrong, what is good and what is bad. That's how God designs things in our life. As I said, sometimes I myself find it very hard to comprehend this image of God. But that's how God is at work. That is how God is progressively at work in our lives. Three things, three words came to my thought this morning when I was sitting with the word. The first thing is, God is ever present in our moment. The very presence of God is at work. Secondly, God is love. God is always with love towards us. And thirdly, is God is continuously renewing our life. There is always an act of renewal that is taking place. Let us ask the Lord the grace today to, to place ourselves in the hand of the potter because the potter is continuously at work on the clay. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you met all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, Father, with the angels and the saints, we declare your glory and with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We continue to pray in this morning's Eucharist for Holy Father Pope Francis in the work of reconciliation in the Church of Canada. 
and we pray for the devastating devastation of the earthquake in the Philippines. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he broke it. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving you thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sebastian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
Amen. My dear friends, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Love for that peace to one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure of heart, they shall see God.
Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, that this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son, grant, we pray, that this gift which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just a reminder, please do join us this evening for the Divine Mercy Holy Hour in con collaboration and conjunction with the Divine Mercy Apostolate of Asia. Do pray with us for the benediction in the Holy Hour. It's at 7 p.m. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Prayer for the Synod. We, we stand, stand before, before you, Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With, with you alone to guide us. us. Make, Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way, the way we must go, and how we are, are to pursue it. it. We, we are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed day and stay safe. Same, Same to you, Father. Father.